footage used in any of the Slasher Scotty videos, including the body count, the rankings, and the top 10 videos are entirely owned by the copyright holders. Slasher Scotty makes no claim of ownership and simply uses the footage for purposes of education, commentary, and criticism under the Fair Use Act. Welcome everyone to The Body Count, where we tally up all of your favorite kills for all of your favorite horror movies. I am your host Slasher Scotty, and today's episode is on John Carpenter's 1978 cult classic, Halloween. The classic starts off with a title card! The year is October 31st, 1963, you guessed it, Halloween. You see a first person point of view showing the exterior of what's to be known as the Myers House. The little person goes inside and sees a teenage girl and her boyfriend to roll in the hay. The creeper then grabs a knife and then watches the guy uh, come down the steps, ready to leave. Wait, what? He's done? The creepy little bastard heads up the stairs and sees a teenage girl, his older sister Judith, stroking her hair. Yes, I was gonna say her hair. Before Judith yells out Michael's name, BAM! The first body added to the body count, Judith Myers, stabbed in the chest multiple times with Michael's big, sharp knife. Fun fact, I interviewed Sandy Johnson, who played Judith, and the scenes were done with Sandy squishing blood capsules into her chest. To listen to the full interview I had with Sandy, make sure to subscribe to Slasher Scotty and give the interview a listen. Shipped over to two old people in a car, later identified as Dr. Sam Loomis and Marion Chambers, the nurse of Loomis. 15 years later, on October 30th, 1978, you guessed it, the day before Halloween. They give some crazy dialogue, discussing Michael Myers and his evil, before finding out that all of the patients are wandering around Smith's Grove Sanitarium grounds. Michael ends up stealing the car and is on his way to Haddonfield for a good old fashioned massacre. Laurie gives, gets some keys from her dad, a realtor, to take over to the Myers house. Wait, the creepy haunted house that poor old Judith was killed in 15 years prior? We then get told it is Halloween. Woo! Dr. Loomis eventually ventures to Haddonfield to hunt down Michael and is on the phone, noticing a rabbit in red matchbook, matchbook the same one Marion was using to smoke the day prior, and an off-screen death occurred, unbeknownst to Dr. Loomis. That's right, a mechanic is added to the body count in an off-screen death. Now that's not very nice, Mikey! At the high school, Lori is with Linda discussing the homecoming dance. Their friend Andy, Annie, catches up, and we get some nicely done and much needed, wait for it, CHARACTER DEVELOPMENT! Oh, you thought I was going to say something different? Like, something important? Uh, oh, a thousand pardons? I apologize! Good grief, this is just my first show! Shut up! Let's get back to the movie, okay? Good lord! So Michael starts stalking Lori and her friends basically all day with some classic 80s slang. You know, like when Michael is speeding and we get the infamous line from Annie... Wait, what was it again? Yeah, that just happened. Michael steals from a hardware store taking some rope, Halloween masks, and a couple of knives. What are you planning on doing there, Mikey? And he gets ready to carve up some jack-o'-lanterns, or humans, or dogs, or whatever he wants to. Really, I mean, I ain't gonna be the one stopping him. Throughout the night, we get some more character development with Lindsay watching The Thing on TV, Annie spilling popcorn on her clothes, Lori and Tommy bonding, and oh yeah, a dog dies. Poor Lester, Annie goes over to the Doyle residence and tells Lori that she asked Ben Tramer to take her to the homecoming dance and will cancel if she watches Lindsay so she can pick up Paul to do some love making. But Annie is added to the body count, you know, when she gets into her car she is strangled by Michael before getting her throat slit, minus the blood. Tommy sees Michael carrying Annie's corpse into the house and turns on, it turns out that Lori doesn't believe him. On seeing the boogeyman. <laughs> I mean, not cool, Lori. Then Linda and Bob arrive at the Wallace residence. We get Linda, 
Bob Beer, the hideous van, and Bob being a plain old creeper. Did he just say what I thought he did? First I rip your clothes off. So don't rip my blouse, it's expensive, idiot. Then you rip my clothes off, then we rip Lindsay's clothes off. Yeah, I think I got it. Totally. Ew! She's like eight years old, you weirdo! Bob and Linda have sex in the big bed. I'm guessing it's the bed of Lindsay's parents. Double weird. And he goes to get him and Linda a beer, only to be added to the body count, getting choked against a wall and stabbed in the chest, being pinned to the wall with that big, thick knife. His toes are showing, becoming limp, and Bob is a goner. Michael goes to the bedroom after, watching Bob and Linda have sex. I mean, what else was he doing? Oh right, hiding in a closet. It's okay, Mikey, we won't tell. Michael has a white sheet over him, wearing Bob's glasses, trying to play some trick and treats with Linda before Linda asks if he wants to see anything. And, well, Linda, he was just in the closet, so no, I don't think he likes it, okay? What he does like, though, is touching. Well, more like strangling, as he adds Linda to the body count by choking her out as she is on the phone with Lori. Remember, Linda, you don't survive in a horror movie when you have sex, you silly goose. Lori then walks over to the Wallace house in a slow, suspenseful, drawn-out build-up to Lori's famous screaming, becoming a true scream queen where she finds Annie's body, then Bob's dangling corpse, and Linda's dead carcass in the closet. I see what you did there, Mikey. Switching things up and putting Linda in the closet instead, eh? Lori then gets slashed on the arm with Mikey's pointy knife falling over the banister and to the floor below. Michael is in pursuit and Lori gets Tommy to open the door for her eventually. Lori thinks she kills Michael with a knitting needle to the neck. Um, what? Then she hides the kids in the bedroom and hides in a closet. Again, with the closets. Damn, my jokes are getting so damn old. She makes a weapon out of the hanger and stabs Michael with it. And then, he, and then she grabs the knife he dropped and stabs him with it in the chest. Dr. Loomis gets wind of Mikey's whereabouts to an extent, and when the kids run out screaming, Dr. Loomis figures out which house it truly is. Michael sits up and chokes Lori out. Now not too rough, Mikey. She's a virgin after all. Oh, you are trying to kill her. Alright. You see Michael's face briefly when Lori pulls up Michael's mask. Fun fact, multiple people played Michael throughout the movie including Will Sandin when Michael was a child, Deborah Hill as a POV version of Michael as a child, plus Nick Castle, Tommy Lee Wallace for the closet scene, and Tony Moran when Michael was a mask. Dr. Loomis then shoots Michael a total of six times, six times, where he falls off the balcony followed by the icon this iconic dialogue exchange. Dr. Loomis looks over at the balcony and sees Michael is gone. We hear Michael breathing very deeply, only to see all the locations that Michael has been at during the movie, symbolizing that he can be anywhere at any time. There you have it, the first episode of The Body Count. Now how about we get out of here and tally up all of the bodies bef uh, that Michael, you know, before Michael finds me. Oh, now he found me. I better hide in the closet. <laughs> Halloween was released on October 25th, 1978 and starred Jamie Lee Curtis, Donald Pleasance, Nancy Loomis, PJ Souls, Nick Castle, and Charles Cyphers. There were a total of 5 deaths, 3 females, and 2 males. The Slasher Scotty Gold Trophy for Coolest Kill would have to be given to Bob. I mean, you don't have to have a foot fetish to see those feet and be like, yummy. The Slasher Scotty Platinum Trophy for Lamest Kill would have to be given to the mechanic. Well, because he was, it was a totally off-screen death and we got no feet. Make sure to subscribe to Slasher Scotty for more videos to come with interviews with celebrity guests, rankings, top 10, SSN, and the body count. Smash that like button if you liked what you saw. And until next time, I'm Slasher Scotty and this has been the body count.